And what about trade? Well, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin says, what the hell about trade? Steel and aluminum tariffs, after his uh, led delegation, uh, have been suspended as the negotiations with China have wrapped up. The secretary saying tariffs, uh, U.S. tariffs, Trump tariffs can be put back on the table if there's no progress made uh, in reducing the $375 billion trade deficit between the two countries. And uh, joining us now, uh, Gordon Chang, Daily Beast columnist and uh, author of Nuclear Showdown, North Korea Takes on the World, and China obviously taking on the world. Uh, your thoughts about the uh, Mnuchin uh, negotiated uh, trade agreement uh, or non-trade agreement uh, with the Chinese. Yeah, this does not have the hallmarks of the president. This looks like Steven Mnuchin. We have a framework. We don't know the details yet. But nonetheless, it doesn't look good, Lou, because basically the Chinese have agreed to do what they should do. And we are not going to put on those Section 301 tariffs meant to stop China's theft of intellectual property. And we're probably going to give relief to ZTE. So let, me see, so let me see if I got this right. So there will be no tariffs on aluminum and steel dumping in, by the Chinese uh, into this country or from anyone else, apparently. Uh, ZTE uh, will suddenly be given a pass for doing business for seven years with the Iranians and the North Koreans without imposition uh, of any kind of penalty whatsoever. And they can still steal $600 billion worth of intellectual property from the United States and preserve an almost $400 billion trade deficit. Is that the... the is that basically where we are? Steven Mnuchin says it's good for us, Lou. But no. yes, you're right. That's where the deal is right now. Yeah, and that's, it's just incredible uh, to think that, this, that Mnuchin or anyone working for this president would come up with that kind of nonsense. I, I want to just show everybody something, if I may. Uh, we, we're hearing a lot of talk, folks, about, uh, from uh, Mnuchin and others about sorghum and soybeans and our exports to the to the uh, Chinese. Let's take a look at the exports that we send to China right now, if we may. Uh, led off by uh, soybeans, some planes, aircraft, integrated circuits, gas turbines, some scrap metal goes down the line. Now let's take a look at uh, what we do with the European Union. Aircraft, machinery, pharmaceuticals, optical and medical equipment, electric machinery. Let's look at Germany particularly. The mercantilist, uh, the leading mercantilist of the uh, European Union, civilian aircraft and parts, passenger cars, new and used, pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, chemicals. I, I mean, we look like a third world nation in what we export to China, and they're reducing not a single tariff, not a single barrier to U.S. exports. Yeah, the real problem here is that you've got industrial policy in China, the Made in China 2025 initiative, the 13th five-year plan. And we've got, of course, all the theft and the stealing and the non-tariff barriers. we got to eliminate those, Lou, because those are the ones that are causing the trade deficit. The president and, and campaigned on smart government trading, and he said he couldn't blame the Chinese because they were outsmarting us. They just took his trade delegation and spanked them in Beijing. I, I mean, it's that simple. Uh, they might as well have been there with uh, uh, peddler's carts uh, with jars of sorghum uh, in uh, sacks of soybeans. I mean, it's pathetic what they did. Yeah, I mean, we got taken to the cleaners in this. I hope that because this isn't final, the president is going to intervene. You know, he did actually speak to the head of the Chinese trade delegation, Le He, um, a couple days ago. I think that's because he does see the problem there, and I think that we're going to get a better trade deal, but only because of the president. Because Steve Mnuchin has an idea that you'd be nice to the Chinese, they will reciprocate. We've tried that for about yeah. two decades now. It doesn't work. I think more than being nice, he basically just said, you know, I surrender. I'll give you whatever you want. I mean, it, it, it wasn't a negotiation. Uh, it, it was a status check. And the status uh, said, you know, we're going to be just exactly what we've been for the past decade. And that's not particularly healthy for our economy. Oh, North Korea, where do you see it going now? Because China obviously is working now, is asserting its interest and, and, and just wiping the table uh, with the president's uh, uh, delegates uh, to represent those interests, at least on trade, in Beijing and here. Yes, for the last two months, China has been really sanctions busting. When Kim Jong-un went to Beijing in March, you know, they showed all the pictures of the sanctions violation. I think there will be a summit with Kim Jong-un. He needs sanctions relief. It might not be June 12th in Singapore, but it will occur. There's going to be problems down the road. Trump's got to actually up the sanctions, not only on North Korea, but also on China.